Hi everyone, this is Dr. Omar. In this video clip, I will show you how to explore your, that your data and to determine whether your data are normally distributed or, or not in SPSS and to look for kurtosis. Kurtosis is pointness of the distribution. It describes the shape of the distribution it's a measurement used to describe the degree to which scores clusters or cluster in the tails or the peak of the of, of a frequency distribution. In normal distribution, the value of kurtosis is zero. Positive value of kurtosis indicates pointy, pointy distribution. Negative value of kurtosis indicate flat distribution the further the value is from zero the more likely that the data are normally distributed so it is really important to convert the scores into z scores for some standardization kurtosis using the for for formula kurtosis equal to k minus zero divided by standard error of kurtosis kurtosis value between minus 1.96 and 1 point between 9 minus 1.96 and 1.96 indicate normal distribution and beyond these values the data are not normally distributed this diagram shows the difference between positive kurtosis and negative kurtosis in normally distributed data, data, the distribution, the curve distribution is uh, bell shaped, and uh, when it is uh, there is a positive kurtosis, the uh, curve is peaky, and when it is negative kurtosis, the the curve is flat. So here uh, on the left column, I have data. And I want to explore this data to see whether it is normally distributed or not and whether there is kurtosis in it or not. I'm going to show you three ways to do it in SPSS. If we go and click on analyze and then scroll to descriptive statistic then hit the button for or the icon for frequencies and then uh, we're going to do to transfer the data i have here into the variables and then i'm when i click on statistics i'm going to select few things one of them is the mean the median the mood in the central tendency ten, tendency and then and the distribution i need to check the put the check mark uh, uh, take the kurtosis get also uh, standard deviation and standard error of the mean and hit the button for continue if i click on the charts i'm going to need to look at the data through looking at histogram and then examining the curve so uh, take this and take histogram and then click on continue click on format in the format i'm not going to change anything in this window so we keep it as it is so click continue and the style we're not going to do any changes here there is a, a box or an icon small box say displays a frequency table i'm going to uncheck that there is no need to look at the data in a frequency table so if i hit, hit the button for ok spss will generate a table in that table shows shows that you have uh, we have 44 entries or scores nothing is missing is the mean for it the median <coughs> and the mood it worked out the kurtosis and it's found to be 1.2 and then standard error of that kurtosis and 1.2 is further away from zero so that indicate that there is kurtosis in these data and the distribution of this data so that these da that indicate that this data is not normally distributed if we looked at the histo look at the histogram of this data we can see that the curve is really pointy the data are pointy so this is there is a positive kurtosis here 
so this is one of the way to examine the data another way is to click on analyze descriptive and then go for this again click on the descriptive icon we're going to transfer the data into the variable and then if we click on options it will give you some other options to select from mean standard deviation maximum minimum and then distribution click on the icon for kurtosis and then hit the button for continue if we click also in style we are not going to do any changes and then we just click on the button for ok SPSS will generate a table showing that you have 44 uh, scores the mean for it and then it worked out the kurtosis to be to find out to be 1.2 and the standard error of kurtosis, of kurtosis is 0.7 a third way also again descriptive explore in the explore window transfer the data into the dependent list click on the statistics not going to do any changes just hit the button for continue in the plot one we're going to untick stem and take the histogram and also we're going to look at the normality plot with tests to see whether this data are normally distributed or not if we clock click on options we're not going to do any changes plot we have already done that and then here in the display statistics and plot we're going to look for both if we click the button for ok the explore the spss will generate a few tables again the descriptive table will give us a mean a median range and minimum and also kurtosis again it works out the kurtosis mathematically and calculations and worked out also the normality again as we can see here using these two tests these data are not normally distributed by looking at the p-value here and i have a separate video clip describing uh, normality test in spss again the spss will generate uh, a diagram histogram diagram or chart and as we can see here we have the data and we see a peak here and there is no care but if we want to insert a curve we just couple click on this uh, picture and then scroll to elements scroll to show distribution curve and then close this and then we have here a curve so this histogram shows that these data are positively and there is positive kurtosis at its pointy or peaky okay this uh, this is the three ways how to get the value for the distribution of your data whether there is kurtosis in it or not through analyze then descriptive statistics either you choose frequency descriptive or explore